Good morning, internet. Or, you know, whatever time it is where you are. What time is it? Good lord. Wake up, Lizzie. Come on. I'm sorry, Charlotte. You should probably just cut all of this out. You know, why do I even bother saying that? You never do. Charlotte, you should keep in all of this mindless blithering. Blah, 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 blah. My name is Izzy Bennett and... Oh. So why are you being treated to the Lizzie Bennet zombie diaries today? So glad you asked. Is it because we're careening into the end of the semester and I'm slammed with deadlines? True, but no. Is this a shameless ploy to invoke an internet meme for more viewers? Not even. Is it because George Wickham's back in town and neither one of us got any sleep last night? Ha! You wish. No, the blame, as it will surprise no one to learn, rests with my mother. I believe I've mentioned before that she loves a good panic. Charlotte, roll the clip. Thrifty's to be admired, Lizzie, but that's no reason to show off our virtue. But her latest fixation has taken on a whole new level of nuts. This morning, my mother dragged me out of bed to go grocery shopping with her at 4 a.m. Who goes grocery shopping at 4 a.m.? Insomniacs? College students? Vampires? Yeah, obviously, someone must, or we wouldn't have 24-hour grocery stores. Well, now you can add the Bennett family to that list because Mom's decided she doesn't want any of the neighbors to see us using coupons. So I'm dutifully helping her fill our cart with cans of green beans in cranberry juice. Five for four dollars, this week only. When it hits me, what's wrong with this picture? We're buying canned green beans in cranberry juice at four in the morning! Yeah, hang on a sec. To be continued. Hey again, it's been another fun-filled day in the Bennett household. I didn't think this was possible, but the green beans in cranberry juice situation has gotten even stranger. Mom wasn't just buying them because they were on sale. Oh no, she had a plan. Behold! Green beans in cranberry jello. Seeing is believing, am I right? And now for the plan. Hang on. Jane? Can I borrow you for a second? What is it? What are we doing? I need a scene partner. Ta-da! Isn't it perfect? Oh, wow. Mom, that's a really nice cranberry gelatin mold with green beans in it. Lizzie, this isn't very nice. Is it true? Well, yes, but you always make Mom seem unhinged. Okay. You play Mom. That's so nice, Mom. Are we eating it, or is it for the neighborhood potluck? Oh no, Jane, it's not for eating. Oh, what's it for? It's for you to carry over to Mr. Bing Lee's house. Now, I have checked the weather and we are due for a freak rainstorm tomorrow afternoon. You'll wear your white dress with the full lining, of course. The rain will melt the gelatin, which will then run all over your dress. Naturally, when you arrive at his house, Bing Lee will offer to wash it for you. Well, this isn't a good plan, Lizzie. I know. I don't want to do that. Oh no, don't worry. You won't. I've got this. Things I do for my sister. This plan was impressive even for mom. The only thing mom loves more than a good panic is a convoluted plan. I was just planning to talk to mom, but when I went downstairs, she was talking to dad. And I wasn't eavesdropping, but her voice carries. Should I get a costume for this? Ah, screw it. They were talking about a second mortgage and the falling value of the house and, and other personal financial details that I will not share on the internet. I haven't talked about this stuff because it's boring, but there's a reason we all still live at home and Jane isn't paying back her student loans. But now it seems to be getting worse. Is this whole marriage fixation a race to get us out of the house before there isn't a house to get us out of anymore? Like we'd lose the house. At least not anytime soon. Mom just loves a good panic. You know, the parts that are just gelatin, not that bad. Let's just save that for later. <laughs>